so uh, this profi- this um websites they provide pretty much everything that we need in order to uh, build our skills even the destination is quite good in uh, tcs if you are in the digital career your package is quite decent for a fresher it's uh, above the average that in- Hello everyone and welcome to our channel placement interview and today we have with us Mr Utsav Kumar and he is here to share his experience with us so before moving ahead with the interview first of all welcome to our channel Mr Utsav and would you tell us something about yourself thank you for having me here uh, my name is Utsav uh, i did my graduation from nagaland nagaland university uh, in computer science and engineering fortunately and uh, currently i'm working in tcs as systems engineer okay so would you tell us something about the company that is tcs you are currently working with uh tcs as most of us uh, might be knowing uh, is a service based company and it happens to be india's largest it company it provides um, support based uh, mostly the projects that we have are uh, support based but also we have development and testing so uh, most of our things it includes providing services to our clients uh, apart from that i don't think there is anything else okay more it as most of us already know what this is is okay so as you know there comes a roles and responsibilities in any profession we talk about so can you please tell us something about your job profile specifically okay uh, this can go a bit long uh, initially last year in the month of august uh, i joined tcs as in the ninja cadre so uh, i would not be specifying the package over here because uh, it's confidential but if you all want to know then just go and make a simple google search tcs ninja and tcs digital you'll get the exact package i just checked it so uh, initially i joined tcs in the ninja cadre so after which uh, i was working till uh, october or the month of november in the ninja cadre after which i happened to uh, crack an internal exam called dca and through which i my designation was promoted to two more levels and now i'm a systems engineer and the project that i'm working in is a support project and my role is backup and storage admin so during your interview process like how did you get into this opportunity was it a campus placement or was the question and answer process handled at your company can you say something about that yes um so the college from which i graduated is a uh, tier three would also be uh, a bit upward in that i feel so uh, it was a college now university i would not blame the college at the end uh, it's the student if he has knowledge he can get the placement because nowadays it's not just about on campus placement so unfortunately in my college there were no on campus placements i never saw any placement so um, what i had to do was i had to search myself for um, things like uh, cognizant tcs some companies as such so uh, i got to know about nqt national qualifier test so uh, i gave the exam i got quite good marks and uh, i was shortlisted for the interview so i gave the interview in the interview there were uh, hr rounds technical round managerial round i cleared all of those and then uh, i entered tcs in the ninja career apart from tcs i just gave two placement examinations one was cognizant other one was tcs both were off campus since i said that my college does not provide like it is not able to uh, cope up with on campus placement right now but things are improving over there also so uh, i just gave two examinations cognizant and tcs i cracked both and since uh, tcs had it joining um, earlier so i joined tcs uh, i joined in the ninja cadre after which like i said i cracked dca and i i am in the digital cadre so as you know there comes this skill in any profession and in order to enhance the skill we need to cope up with things so can you give some of the tips for the skills and the technical skills uh, yes um, to be very um, straight on the point if one desires to be in development project which most of us we desire to be so uh, in that scenario you should be uh, focused on one specific programming language and then the related things to that language which would help you enhancing your knowledge in that language because uh uh when the project management they call you they ask you about your skills if you are good with java you can tell them that you are good in java and uh, they would try to give you a project related to your skill though most of the times it's not possible for example uh suppose uh, let's take the example of my company tcs 
so in that company uh, when i was asked about my skills i i said machine learning python so on and so forth but uh, i got this develop uh, this support project so uh, at the end of the day it depends whether they have that project or not so that is also one issue and since i had already um, rejected two project offers which were support in the third one i was not left with any choice i had to enter support but like i said if you want to be in a development project so for that just uh, focus on one language get certificates do internships so on and so forth you would definitely end up in a very nice project so yeah one language focus on one language also it's always good to have knowledge of every language but uh, try to be uh, try to build your skills in one specific language that i feel would take you to a greater place so could you mention some of the resources and platforms in order to enhance that technical skills that you mentioned okay for coding uh, there are several very very nice platforms free of cost one is lead code other can be geek for geeks hacker rank so uh, this profi- this um, websites they provide pretty much everything that we need in order to uh, build our skills even for the best company that we say often is google even to get into google if you do all the programs on lead code you develop your logical thinking so uh, and uh, if you have pretty much of good knowledge with your data structures oops so on and so forth i don't think there should be any problem getting into best product com- best companies So thank you so much Mr. Utsav and lastly do you want to give any advices to our future aspirants who wants to join the same role as yours uh i would suggest not to but anyways uh, if there is someone who wants to join in the same role as mine the designation is quite good in uh, tcs if you are in the digital career your package is quite decent for a fresher it's uh, above the average that india indian company offered so that's quite good but if you want uh, something better than um, okay let me just tell you about my role in my role uh, specifically you just need to crack nqt get a good uh, score uh, they would uh, offer you and after which if you are in ninja you would be given uh, some courses like tslp so on and so forth to upgrade into digital if not you would, you just have to initially gain knowledge later on things will automatically fall into place and for the specific job profile of mine you do not need to study anything i was given kt and you would be glad to know that everything that, that i learned during my engineering almost 95 to 98 percent are not in use right now in this support project in which i am in so uh, i would just suggest learn programming language as much as you can and that would be quite a very good thing in order to land in a very nice project and a nice company and data structures are a must So thank you so much and we wish you a very best of luck for our team placement interview and for the audience if you do have some questions then you can connect with him through the linkedin the links will be in the description box below and thank you so much mr ulstuff for your time and we will soon see you thank you thank you so much this was my first interview after getting into systems engineer designation thank you so much for having me here